Today we are thrilled to bring you something delightfully refreshing from a micro German brand that is quickly making headway in the watch industry. Master watchmaker Stefan Kudoka and his wife Ev launched the Kudoka brand in 2004, marking the realization of a long held dream. Stefan's extensive industry training with many of the big brands, including Original Glashütte, Blancpain, Breguet, and Amiga, honed his eye for detail and horological skill, which is evident across all pieces in the small but striking Kudoka collection. The company's goal is centered on developing well-crafted movements, tested and refined through stringent quality controls before being individualized with characterful designs that imbue personality and style. And this hasn't failed to grab industry attention because Kodoka took out the prestigious Grand Prix d'Horologie Award in 2019 for best watch under 8,000 Swiss francs. So are Kodoka watches worth it? Let's take a look. The piece we will be reviewing today comes from Kodoka's more formal handwork collection, so named for the unique in-house calibre beating at its core. This calibre, visible through the generous exhibition case back, is the perfect place to start, as precision forms part of the equation. Typical of many high-end German watches, the movement makes a point of celebrating the three-quarter plate that is finished with an attractive matte frosting and embellished with an engraved nameplate. Another feature we've grown to appreciate is the unique placement of the wheels and bridge as they join the escapement towards the edge of the movement. The prominent wheels feature a traditional snail finish, but the hero of the movement is the bridge, which is beautifully hand engraved with a flourish finish that contrasts well against the muted base plate. In addition to this, considered use of flame blued screws punctuates the minimalistic design without overpowering clean lines or complicating the free flow form. The Calibre 1, as it's known, affords approximately 46 hours power reserve once fully wound and boasts robustness and practicality, which are strong features for a watch you need to rely upon for many years to come. If we flip the watch over, we are greeted by a face that mirrors the restraint of the Calibre in both design and complication. Delicate Roman numerals mark the cardinal points around the outer dial and a small second subdial fits snugly into the 9 o'clock position. This piece is finished with a bright frosted silver dial that sets a lovely backdrop for the exquisite flame blued hands. A hint of whimsy is delivered through the infinity tipped hour hand, but otherwise the look is simple and beautiful. Many of you will be pleased to hear that Godoka has carried the feeling of restraint through to the case dimensions, which come in at a tidy 39mm diameter and 9.5mm in height. Indeed, the polished steel case, with its formed lugs, onion crown and soft curves, is a joy to wear. We find that this piece balances size, wearability and comfort exceptionally well, so it's a big tick from us in terms of dress watch durability. However, if you're looking for something even more collectible than a small run model, the Kodoka one can be delivered in a solid 18 karat rose gold case, with matching rose gold hands or you can stick with the classic flame blued option if you prefer. This flexibility and responsiveness to customization is something that gives small brands like Kudoka the edge over big brands that are often fixed on rigid production plans. Regardless of what you may think of lesser known, independently owned watch brands, they are here to stay and many of them are leading the way in terms of watch design and innovation. Kudoka One is but a small part of Kudoka's stunning collection which ranges from high art creations like the Kodoktopus to classic dress watches like this one and the Kodoka 2 we've reviewed previously, which you might also be interested to check out on our channel. But back to the question we asked earlier, yes they do deserve it and the judges of the watch Oscars in Geneva were right when they backed Kodoka as the winner in 2019. In short, we love this brand and can't wait to see more from Stefan and the team over the coming years so stay tuned. For now though, thanks for watching and we look forward to bringing you more about time next time. Time only, the authorised Kodorka dealer.